Hi guys, it's Lars Lehmann once again. Welcome back to the fifth episode of our Sadowski Germany Factory Report. In this part, we are going to cover, uh, you know, general questions uh, like future plans for the company and whatever comes to mind. Have fun. So Nico, I have some uh, general questions left. We're here in Magnerkirchen, Germany. Um, do you do tours or do, do you have a, 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 an actual physical shop? Oh yeah, of course. So we have here our workshop um, and our showroom. So unfortunately during the pandemic, we couldn't offer any production tours anymore to visitors. What's really sad. Um, but when everything gets back to normal, we will for sure do it again. So people can call us up or um, write us an email to make an appointment and to book a tour right. when everything will be normal again, hopefully sooner than later. And then we are more than happy to show the workshop and they can check out bases in the showroom. And there's also a small history section to learn about the history of the cool. company. And yeah. And I might add, maybe uh, I've seen it and it's definitely worth a visit, guys. You don't want to miss it. Um, so maybe you can explain to our viewers what are the major differences between the Metro line and the Master Build mm -hmm. series. Okay, so um, we use the same words for the Master Build and the uh, uh, Metro line. So it's either Red Alder or Swamp Ash, Maple. But for the Master Builds, there's a much finer wood selection. So, right, so a higher grade? Higher grade. They are more light. Um, for the necks, we don't use regular Maple. We use roasted maples in the right. uh, roasted maple Which for the master builds. By the way, what looks Beautiful, amazing, dark wood, um, yeah, yeah. flamed roasted maple actually. Right. Also for the fretboards, the master builds come with a wooden electronics compartment cover. And also you have these amazing custom tops, right? Yeah. Which are just oh, mind blowing. Yeah. So beside the master build and the uh, uh, metro line, there's also the custom shop, and in the custom shop, basically everything is possible. Okay, so that would be my third option, right? You have the metro line, you have the master build, mm -hmm. and then there's the custom yeah, shop. So, so what, want... what is the difference between the master build and the custom shop? So if you really want to stick out and have something unique, one of a kind, then you go with the custom shop. Right. For the metro line and the master build, um, you can choose from various um, different options, but you can't have something one of a kind, what we never done before. But so no, no diamonds on top of my no. pots or whatever. <laughs> but that's possible in the custom shop, for example. Is it you really? Know, you can come with a color idea or you can say you want this and this wood, what we never been using before on the Sadowski, and then this is possible. Okay. So And that then is uh, going to be charged uh, accordingly to the effort, probably? Yeah, so you have your base price, what is the master build instrument, and then every option what is different to the uh, master build comes on top. There you go. So uh, what are your future plans? I've heard rumors about a Sadowski guitar. Yeah, so we're thinking about it. In New York, they are producing the um, Sadowski guitars. So for the beginning, we were focusing on the bass range, but right. in the next year or in the next two years, <clears throat> um, for sure, there will also come Sadowski guitars. So that's in the planning and will come for sure. There's a, a new series of basses also, the MM series. Exactly. What is, what is so that all about? That's the most recent model we introduced. So it's a Sadowski bass with MM style pickups. Right. So let me get this straight. You have uh, a Sadowski bass with actually a uh, MM style humbucker with, with yeah. two coils. Um, MM style with two coils, exactly. You right. can split the coil, so even wow. either you can play as a single coil or as a humbucker. Okay. And that's something um, even Roger never have done before, mm -hmm. but he was totally fine with it doing it because everything what we do new or um, Roger never have done before, we always talk to him. If okay. we would never do something, he wouldn't agree to it. Okay. So everything we introduce, color, custom shop options, new woods, we always discuss it with Roger together. Mm -hmm. And if we don't get his approval, we won't do it. What about six string basses then? So six string basses is for sure a possible thing what can come in the future. So okay. if the market is requesting it and Roger um, is approving it, then for sure we will do it. Can I get one already from the custom shop? Not maybe? at the moment. Okay. So this is something what will come in the next next year or maybe a couple of years. All right. Now I heard you also have a very high quality control department here in 
Magne Kirchen. That's correct. We have a really strict quality control during the whole production process. Of course, we have a final quality control in the end production. So when all parts are in the base, the base is set it up, they're getting played and the people um, are checking for any defects or any buzzing or any issues. Right, um, and you also have some very, very experienced luthiers here. Uh, yeah, just great guys with a lot of knowledge and experience. And also, yeah, no base would leave our factory with any defect. Right, but if there are still any problems or warranty issues, um, people can contact us by mail. Um, mm -hmm. You'll find the mail below, and we take this really serious. And the people get an answer during forty-eight hours. Wow. So we're really fast in replying, but it's also a really big issue for us, um, customer service. That's amazing. Yeah. So we don't leave you without an answer for weeks or days. All right. I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for your time, Nico. Really appreciate yeah, it. I really enjoyed it. It was um, a great time. Yeah. I had lots of fun. And there you have it. This episode concludes our factory report for Sadowski bases made in Germany. Once again, many thanks to Mr. Nicholas Wilfer for taking the time to talk to us. If you guys have any questions left, feel free to ask them in the comment section. You can also go to sadowskibase.com. That's it from me. I'm Lars Lehmann, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.